I'm whipping up one of my favorite things to make when I'm home alone, pasta puttanesca. It's incredibly flavorful, I love it. Most of all, it's really fast to make. Now I sliced up some red onions pretty thin and I've been sauteing them. They've got some nice color on them already. And then I have some red grape tomatoes and those just go right into the skillet with the onions. Okay, I'll just let the tomatoes cook in the onions. I love to add wine to pretty much any pasta I make. Now I'll just pour in about half a cup or so to stir the tomatoes and onions. Oh my gosh, what a delicious combination. Now while the wine reduces, I'll get started on the other ingredients. Now I'm gonna use a mortar and pestle and it starts with anchovies, about four of them. Now if you think you don't like anchovies, give anchovies a chance. <laughs> And then two cloves of garlic and about half a cup of pitted olives. I'm using Kalamata olives, but really you can use any kind you like. Of course, you can just chop the ingredients if you'd rather do that, but I really like mashing them all together. It's really fun and I love the texture. Also, it gives me a little exercise. <laughs> okay, this is all mashed together. It looks wonderful. So I'll just spoon it right into the skillet with everything else. And I'll just stir them in with the tomatoes. Okay, now I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper. Not too much salt at all. Those olives are really salty. And then stir it around. Now this just needs to simmer a little bit longer. Now I love to add chunks of Parmesan cheese to my puttanesca. It's a little bit unusual, but it's a little different than grating it. You get these nice little chunks that go in. Really, really delicious. Alrighty, that should be enough Parmesan. Just break up the big chunks. Now the pasta should be done, so I'll drain it. Now I'm using Bucatini pasta. It's one of my favorite pastas. I just love it. It's a really thick spaghetti that's hollow in the center. It's so good. Alright, and it just goes right in. Okay, now I'll grab the chunks of parm, put those right in. And then I'll just give this a toss and make sure the sauce is totally coating the pasta. Oh my gosh, I love this pasta. So I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. Now I wanna add some basil, but I don't wanna take the time to slice it up. And this is a really rustic pasta anyway, just throw it together. So I'm just gonna grab some leaves and with my hands I'll just tear them up into chunks the basil adds flavor, of course, but it also adds a really pretty color. Now I'll just give it a final toss. I tell you what, <laughs> this looks so good. And I'm gonna get a pretty big bowl because I am really, really hungry. Oh boy. Now that is the perfect dinner. 